live from the local station. This is The Morning Show. It's something that we all know. Feeding babies fruits and veggies from the start is imperative for their well-being. Did you know that you could save money and time while doing it? What? Yeah, we're going to show you some recipes to make, baby food recipes that take less than 10 minutes. Joining us is Tina Ruggiero. She's got a new book out. It's called The Best Homemade Baby Food on the Planet. She's going to be at a local bookstore later today. We've got the details on that. If you have any questions for her, good morning to good you. Good morning. Really? You save, I, I can see the money, but you save time doing this too? You know, there are really three reasons you want to make your own baby food. It does save time. It does save money but it's much more nutritious than the yes. commercial baby food you buy on the shelf. And that's imperative because what you pull off the shelf has been sitting there for a long time. And that's because it's been heated so it's shelf stable. And when it's heated to that high temperature, it loses vitamins, nutrients, and a lot of the taste and flavor. Right. So when you feed baby, he or she is really not experiencing the taste of real food. You know, and if you think, well, I don't cook. I have a friend who does not cook at all, but she made all of her baby's baby food. So this is easy. So let's start over here with oatmeal. Yes, what you can do is make your baby's first cereal and around okay. six months is when they wean. And all you need to do is take either brown rice or oats, which I have here, and put it in a blender and whip it up. So I'm going to let you turn that to one. How long do you usually let it go? Until it's pureed. Yes. And it's that easy, huh? And it's that easy. You put it in a pot with a little breast milk or formula, mm -hmm. and there you have your baby food. And all you need to do is store what's, what's uh, been blended in a canister and scoop it out and make it as you need it. That's so easy. Very, this is brown easy. rice, too, right there. Brown rice and oatmeal, perfect first foods. Okay. Another great first food, sweet potatoes. And these are just the regular sweet potatoes that I put in the oven when I was making a family meal. Put one aside. You can blend it. Now. Go ahead. Oh. <laughs> Give it a whirl. Come okay. on, baby. So that is something that typically happens. What you can do is thin the sweet potatoes with a little milk or a little juice. And, so. and follow your, your uh, pediatrician's recommendations. You know, at some point, they're not supposed to drink cow's milk. So if you need to do formula or, like you said, breast milk, you could even do that. You really introduce cow's milk at one year of age. Right. So there you go. So now mixture and good. root vegetables are perfect for freezing and in my new book the best homemade baby food on the planet I earmark all the recipes in there that are great for freezing so carrots sweet potatoes anything that comes out of the ground is perfect for freezing so there you go you put it in an ice cream tray with go. a lid and these are each one ounce servings so you pop it out defrost it in a little pan or in the microwave mm -hmm. and you have babies baby serving. Well, I love it's it. It's really ideal. Okay. And also first foods, bananas, mm -hmm. carrots, they're terrific. As a baby gets older, seven months, squash, potatoes, and don't think white potatoes, black potatoes, red potatoes. This is pureed pumpkin. Ooh, yummy. And at eight months, I want you to try this. This is pureed <laughs> apricot. Now you're going to probably wrinkle your nose and say yuck, but try because that it's and let me know what tart, you think. Probably. Nope. Oh my gosh. Amazing, right? Are you kidding me? Terif terrific, right? Now, I have people oh. telling me I use that on my toast. I use oh it on gosh. my ice cream. And you know what? My book has inspired parents to eat better because they're tasting the real food they're giving to their infant and their toddler. I've got to wrap up, but you can even make um, uh, rice pudding. All natural rice pudding. And what is this? That's corn with potatoes and chicken, ham with broccoli and couscous. These are things to introduce at eight months. And of course, the book has age-appropriate recipes up to 23 months of age. And of course, you can double them, triple them, and the family can enjoy them too. She knows what she's talking about. She's a dietitian. And if you want to meet Tina and ask her some questions for yourself and get an autographed copy of her book, she'll be at the St. John's Town Center this Saturday at the Barnes & Noble starting at 10 o'clock. I am not going to let this go. Is that okay? The <laughs> you may have it, absolutely. Thank you. So nice to meet you. A pleasure. Bruce, your retirement's calling. I've got a little, <laughs> little spoonful for you, too.